Hello, this is Mark Sabatella from Outside Shore Music, home of Mastering MuseScore. In this week's tip, I want to show you how you can create large time signatures using uh, MuseScore Studio 4.5. This is a new feature of the program that has been uh, requested a lot over the years because they're used commonly in uh, certain types of scores, especially film scores. And the rationale is, well, these time signatures that appear uh, the default kind that you traditionally see, where the time signature is kind of embedded within each staff. They're, it's fine when you're reading closely, but if you're sight reading as a conductor, which often happens for film scores because, you know, time is money, <laughs> um, they might be sight reading the uh, the recording session and they wanted to see the time signatures really big because they don't really care to see the notes. They just need to know, you know, how to conduct the thing. That's the theory anyhow. So let me show you how we're going to do these large time signatures. We're going to go to format style, and then the clef, key, and time signatures section. And what we'll see is the default here is for it to display on all staves, which is what we see. But if I change it to above staves, well now you'll see the time signature is above the staff. And if I put it across staves, you'll see that it's kind of uh, displayed large but spanning multiple staves. Um, this is a fairly popular style, but it does have a drawback in that it creates then extra space on the staves that don't have the time signatures. And well, for that matter, it creates extra space on the ones that do. So the above staves option is kind of nice because it actually uh, saves a little room. We don't need extra room horizontally for that time signature. So I'm gonna go with that option. Now, it says above staves. Right now, we're only seeing it above the top staff, uh, but we can use the layout panel, and I'll show you that in a second, to set which staves it's gonna appear above. I'm gonna put it above the brass and above the percussion and make sure it's also above the strings. Now we'll see that there's settings that control how wide or narrow these large uh, setting, these large time signatures are. Also settings that uh, control whether it's centered on the bar line or whether it appears after the bar line as it otherwise might. And other settings to control the scale, the gap between the numbers, how far above the staff, etc. Well, what I'm going to do is I'm just going to accept those defaults there. And... Um, uh, but I want to make sure that the time signature gets repeated again above the brass and then again above the um, the percussion. We'll see it's already above the strings because that's set up that way by default in the template. But I'm going to want the time signature above each section. So I'm going to come to the layout panel and I'm going to select the top staff of the, of the brass, which is the horns, and then click Add system markings. And now I've got all the system markings repeated there. Uh, I can then do the same thing to get that to appear above the uh, percussion. I'll select my timpani and say add system markings. Now this actually repeated all the system markings including tempo markings and so forth. Maybe you don't want that. So I can click the gear icon and turn off the tempo markings and only have the time signatures then and then do the same thing uh, down uh, well for the for the strings I do want them all I just want to make sure the version that's on the percussion has them turned off and the version that's there above the brass has tempos turned off because we only need the tempo repeated above the strings why tradition um, so you can see that it's still there, even though I turned off the tempo markings on the uh, uh, above the brass. They're th you can see them, but they're grayed out. So in any case, I now have my large time signatures um, that are set in a in a, a way that's uh, conducive for someone then conducting uh, this if it was intended for a film score or any situation where you really just want to see those time signatures extra clearly.